precious people and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jen Gerard. I am the president and CEO of Gerard Cosmetics and this channel is monetized for charity, which means by watching the videos, watching the ads, sharing the videos, leaving a little like or a little comment, you are supporting two fabulous charities in my area. The first is the Domestic Violence Program at the Child and Family Center and the other is Rescues on the Runway, which is an awesome dog rescue. So if this is your first time here, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and ring the bell so that you'll know anytime that I upload a new video. So somebody already came over and now he's going back. Are you coming back? Okay, I guess he's gonna lay down, which is good. This is gonna be a super fun video to make and um, it's 10 indie brands that you should be supporting. And they're brands that just, I love their products that, uh, that some of them I built a relationship with and that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, so I'm excited to jump in. I have to give you one little disclaimer though. Uh, when I was like counting, I actually have 11, but we're gonna pretend like it's 10, okay? So <laughs> don't come for me. I, I had a hard enough time paring it down to 10, to be honest, so, or paring it down to 11. So we're gonna start, it's just in no particular order. And when I think indie brand, I think of like brands that aren't sold in any like major retailers. So kind of like Gerard Cosmetics were like, like um, you know, not sold at Ulta or Sephora or, you know, any other like uh, giant chain like that. And forgive if you can hear Yogi drinking water in the next room, it sounds like a herd of horses. <laughs> He just has to make his presence known. Um, but this first brand is called Midas Cosmetics. And uh, I love the owner of Midas Cosmetics. Her name is Rocio. She's very sweet. And they made this beautiful um, palette in honor of pride. And this is called the Love is Love palette. So this is one of the palettes that they have put out. This one is actually my favorite. I think I don't think this one's available anymore, but it's the Resurrection palette. Um, the press glitters are really, really good and she doesn't mess around. So uh, great brand, good people over there. That's always, always, always a good thing. Uh, there is also Pinky Rose Cosmetics. This is one of my favorite products from Pinky Rose, um, the Bright Lights palette. Um, they actually make great press glitters as well. All of their palettes are really good. I just like this one because the color story is, uh, kind of speaks to me and I have used this one a whole ton. I think you may have even seen it in my top 10 eyeshadow uh, palette videos. Matter of fact, I'll link that here so that you can watch it. But uh, this brand is owned by three sisters. They're uh, amazing ladies and and, and, they, and they built a really great brand out of just, a, they had a store, I think in Sacramento, I want to say, California, and, uh, and built a great brand uh, out of nothing, which is totally awesome. Awesome ladies, awesome brand. Hey, we're on both women-owned brands too so far. Um, I don't know a lot about this brand, but you guys know that this is one of my favorite palettes from Menagerie Cosmetics. Um, I have to say that the the product is very good quality, and uh, and the color stories are really unique. And um, I believe that this palette that there was a charitable function with it as well. Uh, something having to do with saving the whales. I don't know all the details of it, but you know, I stand a charitable queen. And so uh, Menagerie Cosmetics would make my list. Um, this brand is very special to me. It's Nakia Joy Cosmetics. And quite honestly, um, her products are so good. This um, setting powder is called the Velvet Finishing Powder. It is amazing. It smells like cupcakes. <laughs> I love it and it just really I am always shiny and this is one of the few powders that actually will keep me from being shiny she also has amazing lashes if you go to her website she has a whole like section on her website for people with glasses so that you can wear your glasses and still be um, still be able to wear your lashes and know which ones are gonna fit with you and all of that kind of stuff Nikki has been a friend of mine for a long time uh, I met her in Australia Back in, I want to say it's 2014, it was right after we had launched Gerard Cosmetics and met her and Brandon and we spent a lot of time together while we were there. She's been to LA, um, stayed with me and we, she's just a, just a lovely person through and through. And as successful as she's been over the years, um, she just has never changed. And that's something that I 
that I think is amazing that she's still as humble and kind as she's always been. So you're definitely going to want to check out her brand and it is expanding very quickly. Nikia Joy Cosmetics. They are in Australia, but they do deliver uh, all over the world as far as I know. And uh, my orders always come really fast. So um, this next one is called Sola Look Cosmetics and they actually have all of their, um, all of their palettes and stuff are license so they have the 90210 beverly hills 90210 Ooh, stuff coming out of there i'll show you what it is and look at how look at how pretty these shades are and the names of them are so cute there's one that's like the peach pit um dylan and brenda kelly and dylan oh dylan gets around <laughs> donna and david <laughs> steve and steve <laughs> uh west beverly high so it's super cute and they, like I don't know. Just the uh, the theme is amazing, but these are good shadows too, and I really do. Um, I really do like them. And then look at this. It's got a, it's a team Brenda and a team Kelly. So this is Sola Look. Um, this is also a palette. That I I bought this one. This one they sent me. And David over there is just a sweetheart. So this is the Grease, the Pink Ladies palette. I am a Grease aholic girl. And I love these. They're so, so, so pretty. I almost like don't want to mess them up. They're so nice. <laughs> um, and some of the names of the shades are So Pink, Peachy Keen, Beauty School, Frosty Palace, Summer Lovin', and Electrifying. So, so fun. And it's always fun when you can like hair makeup with some other love, isn't it? I I think that's awesome. So uh, I think they have a new one coming out that's going to be cats themed. So if you're into cats, that is going to be totally cool. Um, this brand right here is also one of my favorites. It's called Killer Queens Cosmetics and um, it's owned by two young ladies. And this is their Cozy Nights palette. I actually just got this. I have so many Killer Queens palettes. It's I. I bought a whole bunch of their quads. They're very reasonably priced. Look at the color story on this palette. I cannot wait to dig into this one. Um, I might have to do a look with this one like in the next couple of days and try to get that up for you quickly. Um, I also have some uh, color pigments from them, some neon pigments. I use the yellow in my inner corner all the time, like almost every single day. So that is super duper 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 exciting. Um, speaking of my inner corner, so my inner corner that I normally wear would be this color here. It's this beautiful yellow from Mermaid Scale. It's called Belle. And uh, I, these are all shadows from Mermaid Scale. She also has great lashes, but Belle is my normal inner color, my normal inner corner color. And then I will use uh, this neon yellow pigment right here and just put a teensy weensy little dot in the middle of the inner corner highlight and it just makes it pop just a little bit extra. Um, but these are great shadows. I love them. Like I said, she has fantastic lashes as well. You can never have too many lashes, right? So while we are on the subject of lashes, um, Goat Cosmetics is one of my favorites. The Nana lashes are one of my favorites. They don't make those anymore. These are called Crystal. Um, but yeah, just a great brand. And uh, again, women-owned brand. I love that. Um, it's so nice to see so many enterprising, <coughs> excuse me, ladies starting their own business these days. Isn't it cool? Um, speaking of women in business, I've got a couple more for you. So this one here is Glam Light. And um, I just want to say like, I love Glam Light. Giselle is as sweet as a person can be. And I mean, this pizza palette like kind of started the food trend. Look at it, it comes in a pizza box. The, I mean, just the, the themes all the way through are amazing. But even more importantly, it's great makeup. And uh, isn't this cute? So it's a pizza, little slices everywhere. And I mean, her brand is killing it. And rightfully so. Um, really puts a lot of thought into uh, the packaging, marketing, and the product itself. So, you know, if the packaging is cool and the product isn't good, what do you got? You got nothing. So, but these are very good and I really am, um, and I really am pleased with them. And this is another uh, lady-owned brand called Wispy Winks. Um, 
I wear these all the time. Actually, I'm wearing Wispy Winks today. These are stargazers that I am wearing. Uh, another one of my favorites are, I believe they're called Sex Bomb. These are called What's Good. So she's recently upgraded her packaging. And so now they, I think they look more like this. Uh, but very nice lashes, uh, very comfortable to wear, easy to apply. And uh, yeah, I love these. And Ellie over there is an absolute sweetheart. So um, now we are down to our, we're getting down to the end. I think this is the last one. Okay, so this is Be Perfect. And you guys know I love my Carnival palette um, from Stacey Marie. They also did a, um, a highlight palette with Mama Mitchell uh, a year or two ago. I have that as well. Great. Um, it's good quality and, and it's just a good brand like all the way around. Uh, this palette, you can just do endless amounts of stuff with and you know I love when um, when brands take into account the consumer and trying to give them a good value for their money and these are not only great shadows but uh, at the cost per shadow with the with the quality that it is I, I think it's a really really good buy so um, definitely be perfect cosmetics I would love to know what are your favorite indie brands um, and maybe we can do it you know, do some sort of like indie brand something on this channel going forward. I'd love to hear your ideas about that. But um, I just wanted to show you some of the, some of the indie brands. You guys know I love to support, um, I love to support other brands. And, um, and I think it's such a cool, it's such a cool time because social media does allow um, indie brands to have some success. And I love that. And I mean, I started my brand from nothing and, uh, and I know that all of these brands are in, you know, different stages of, of where they're at, but it's just an exciting time to, um, to really look at what indie brands bring to the table. I feel like they have in some ways, in many ways, changed the landscape in the beauty industry because, you know, it used to be that you didn't get a lot of pigmentation in your lip, in your lip colors, your eyeshadows. You didn't get a lot of variation because all the old, like, sticky, stuffy brands were just giving you the same um, recycled stuff all the time, but uh, up and coming indie brands have completely changed that because they've just brought a whole new thing onto the scene and made the market more competitive. And at the end of the day, when the market is competitive, it's good for consumers. Consumers are going to get a much better, much higher quality product. So, um, yeah, it's just exciting. So, if you have made it this far in the video, you deserve a medal. No. <laughs> Why not share the video? You, you never know. Maybe we'll find some new members for our fam. And don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to this channel. Yogi. He's having it rough today. <laughs> but we are off and I hope you are enjoying Vlogmas. I am sure enjoying making these videos for you. And I hope wherever you are, you just have an incredible day and spread lots of love. Bye.